America, on the move. Vacationing, camping, sightseeing, going places, doing things, enjoying life. And helping it happen are Chevrolet recreational vehicles. There are many types to choose from and a wide-ranging choice of equipment available in power teams, heavy-duty radiators, convenience items, and comfort appointments to let the buyer tailor his Chevrolet recreational vehicle to meet his family needs, plus a multitude of standard features to make recreational travel pleasurable and satisfying. This Chevrolet Custom Camper 20 fleet side pickup carrying a slide-in camper cushions the ride with its massive girder beam front suspension. Built for loads, it allows each front wheel to take bumps independently. Chevrolet's front stabilizer bar, which can be ordered, helps reduce body lean on sharp turns. Because campers have a high center of gravity, they need all the stability the truck's chassis can give them. A front stabilizer bar is not available for this competitive make, although the two vehicles are otherwise comparably equipped. In this side-by-side -side comparison, you can see the difference. Remember, Chevrolet offers a stabilizer bar. The other truck doesn't. Even this slip of a girl can handle a heavy camper combination because it's equipped with Chevrolet's variable ratio power steering. And the Comfort Tilt steering wheel, also available, fits the wheel position to large and small drivers. Helps to make long trips less tiring to the drivers. Another great recreational vehicle is Chevrolet's C10 fleet side pickup, carrying the hunter's and fisherman's favorite shell camper. It's a compact, easy handling combination, also with Chevrolet's smooth riding girder beam front suspension. And the C10 fleet side, like all Chevrolet pickups, comes with standard equipment front disc brakes at no extra cost. The water resistant characteristics of disc brakes are shown in this excerpt from a Chevrolet television commercial. In this demonstration, 175 gallons of water a minute under high pressure thoroughly drench the front disc brakes of a Chevrolet pickup. Then the pickup, heavily loaded, is sent down a canyon road with its brakes still being soaked. 40 miles an hour, 50, 60, hit the brakes. A smooth, straight stop for the ninth straight time. Front disc brakes that are resistant to the effects of heat and water are standard on all Chevrolet pickups, Chevy vans, and Chevrolet motorhome chassis an important feature. Power is important too. Power to pass with authority, keep up with traffic, power to handle the constant load and wind resistance of big recreational vehicles. Power especially to give drivers confidence that they can cope with the long, steep grades on trips. And Chevy offers a full range of engines, including the most powerful V8 available for recreational vehicles and they run on no lead, low lead, or regular fuel. And Chevrolet recreational vehicles are built on strong frames and chassis. Chevy pickups have a strong double panel roof. This next demonstration shows the difference in double and single panel roofs. Chevrolet's protective inner fender liners help protect outer ones from rust, corrosion, and flying rocks. Chevrolet's double wall pickup box construction provides sturdy support for camper bodies. Solid value from rooftop to undercarriage explains why Chevrolet trucks are totally tough, built strong to last long. Percentages of trucks still working show that over 55% of 1956 model Chevrolet trucks are still on the job, based on R.L. Polk official industry statistics. No other make has even half. And percentages for later years prove that Chevrolet trucks last long. Here's Chevrolet's El Camino, towing a travel trailer. El Camino is a handsome unit for personal transportation, with a selection of rich interiors, and a choice of seats, including strato bucket seats and a center control console. 
As part of a trailering outfit, El Camino can be adapted to an easy-to-handle combination with great maneuverability. Half car, half truck, it couples beauty with toughness. Adjustable air booster rear shock absorbers are standard. And El Camino can be equipped with a fifth wheel hitching device for trailering. And there's a wide choice of great Chevrolet engines to deliver the level of performance preferred by the owner for trailering or personal transportation or both. And here's another great favorite, the Chevy van with raised roof camper conversion with full headroom inside. Chevy van's sliding side door gives full access to the interior where there's ample room for cooking, dining, sleeping, and sanitary facilities. For excellent performance, Chevy Van's girder beam front suspension with basically the same tough components shown here on a Chevy pickup and Chevrolet's extra cost stabilizer bar deliver good handling and a comfortable road smoothing ride. Factory installed air conditioning, comfort tilt steering wheel, automatic transmission, power steering, all sorts of comfort and performance options are available for Chevy van conversions. A larger unit is the mini motorhome conversion, also built on a Chevy van chassis, but with a specially designed camper body. Now the ultimate in travel luxury, completely self-contained, the motorhome. This is but one of many makes, built on a chassis especially engineered for motorhomes by Chevrolet. Inside, there's everything private bedroom, bath with tub and shower, completely equipped cooking facilities, dinette, the work of many manufacturers to give outstanding comfort, convenience, and operating performance. Power steering with a comfort tilt steering wheel is standard. A big 350 cubic inch V8 is standard. Turbo Hydromatic, Chevrolet's biggest automatic, is standard. Front disc brakes with dual diaphragm power brake boosters are standard. Chevrolet's smooth riding independent front suspension, tailored rear suspension, and low noise levels make riding in a motorhome like riding on a carpet. There are many different makes of motorhomes based on tough, dependable Chevrolet truck chassis. The choice is almost endless. These are some of the makes and manufacturers. Whatever your customer's preference in a Chevrolet recreational combination, a Chevrolet fleet side for family camping, a tough and exciting Chevy Blazer, a rugged and versatile Chevrolet Suburban, a shell camper for hunting or fishing, an El Camino for trailer towing, a self-contained van conversion, right on up to a super luxurious motor home. Chevrolet trucks for dependable operation carefree fun, and lasting value of investment. Chevrolet trucks, totally tough to last long. These are a few of the many Chevrolet recreational vehicles available. No matter which one your customer selects, it's important that it be properly equipped. Show him the Chevrolet recreational vehicle guide and the trailer towing guide, and help him properly select and equip his unit to make his camper trips comfortable and enjoyable. You know, you could pull an almost absurd amount of weight a given distance with any car before you break the car. But equipping you for that kind of trailering is not our business. Our business is equipping you with a vehicle that will handle your requirements for weight and terrain.
We want to keep your car running. We want you to have fun and travel with peace of mind. the name of the game, isn't it? Trailers are fun. They took America out of doors, showed people a new and exciting way to live, a fun way. And the sale of trailers went up like a skyrocket. Three and a half million recreational vehicles in use right now. By 1980, we can see seven and a half million. That's a lot of recreation, a lot of fun, a lot of trailers, and a lot of cars. But you can't enjoy your trailering without the right vehicle to tow it. The minute you put the two together, you have a whole new unit. They have to function as a unit. One has to fit the other the way your tires fit your wheels. Otherwise, your fun could go out the window. But with so many different trailers, so many things to consider in the towing vehicle, how can you be sure you have the combination that will function as a unit? Just a hitch won't do it. Chevrolet engineers in comprehensive testing programs have determined that for efficient operation, whatever the trailer, a minimum combination of engine, transmission, and axle ratio is necessary. A combination that will help enable you to maintain speeds up to 72 miles an hour at sea level no headwind on level interstate highways. That's Chevrolet's minimum criterion. Well, the first thing we did was buy ourselves a trailer. Then, since we were in the market for a new car, we went to our Chevrolet dealer to buy the, the right car because the same friends who got us interested in trailering told us to go to Chevrolet, to the experts. In trailering, everyone's needs are different. How big a trailer did these folks have? What was its top loaded weight? What's its maximum tongue load? Does it have brakes? And how did they intend to use it? It turned out they had just bought a 29-foot model, 6,000 pounds loaded. They planned one or two long trips each year. On reaching each destination, they had parked the trailer and used the car separately. Of course, asking questions is just part of the job. The other part is knowing what to recommend. My know-how is based on these car and truck trailering charts that Chevrolet Engineering has worked out. No guesswork here. They show the minimum power team requirements for every trailering situation. Also, the required equipment. The right suspension, hitch, radiator, brakes, and so on. In addition, they show other equipment that is recommended for an added measure of easy operation. If you have a light trailer, up to 2,000 pounds loaded, we figure out the right towing vehicle in this area. With a medium trailer, we do our figuring here. And over here, this tells you what you need for a heavy trailer, one that weighs up to six or 7,000 pounds when loaded. Well, for the trailer they had just bought, there's quite a choice. From the Caprice through the various wagons, any of these vehicles would do the job. But since they wanted top-of-the-line styling, I recommended Caprice. The chart showed they had a choice of a 402 V8 with a 342 axle ratio and dual exhaust, or a 454 with a 308 axle. The 402 would do the job, but for added performance, acceleration, and ability to stay with traffic, especially at high elevations, the bigger engine would give them more power and that's the one they chose. Required equipment included heavy-duty cooling, heavy-duty suspension, turbo hydromatic transmission, and an equalizer hitch with anti-sway feature. This is designed to distribute the weight throughout the car-trailer combination.
Chevrolet's equalizer hitch platform is easy to install. Like most other Chevrolets, Caprice comes with the attachment holes pre-punched in its frame. Additionally, I recommended positive traction for sure-footed pulling, especially in off-highway use, a heavy-duty battery for reserve power, and Chevrolet's cruise control for holding at desired speeds. Naturally, I made sure they were outfitted with trailering mirrors. All my recommendations were based on what I felt was the best combination of power, stability, and easy operation. We already had a medium trailer, about 4,000 pounds loaded. When we bought our new car, we went right to the hitching post people to be sure it'd be right for our trailer. They said their trailering would be mostly brief weekend excursions. Since they were watching the money carefully, I recommended a Nova. It's economical to operate and capable of hauling up to 4,000 pounds. The engine, all the power they'd need. Turbo hydromatic and a 342 axle ratio. Now. They could relax, have fun. The other day, I had another couple, retired. Their trailer, a 31-footer. 6,000 pounds loaded. They intended to do a lot of traveling over the next year or so. Long trips with stopovers in a lot of different places. Well, this pair also had quite a choice. But was a car necessarily the answer to their needs? Long trips, off-road driving, long distances between supply sources. They'd need room for extra supplies, extra storage space. Now, these people hadn't even thought of buying a truck. But the vehicle I recommended is really a great combination of truck and car. In addition to its car features, it has the extra space and built-in ruggedness I felt they needed. A suburban C20 with a 350 V8 and a 457 axle, or a 400 and a 354 axle ratio available. They chose the latter for smoother non-trailering use. Again, turbo hydromatic along with the other equipment they required. Since the wife was going to do a lot of the driving, I recommended power steering for easy handling. They now had a tow vehicle that was right for their trailer and for their kind of trailering. A lot of people are interested in the sports aspect of trailering. In winter, it's a toss-up, skiing or snowmobiling, usually both. We like to hit the trails with our bikes, out of the way places, and we believe that getting there is half the fun. Yes, getting there is half the fun. And for both these couples, I recommended a Blazer with four-wheel drive. Tough and capable of handling anything from light to heavy. Were they happy? You bet they were. Both couples knew how important it is to have all the right equipment when you're out for fun. When you bring your problems to Chevrolet's hitching post experts, you can relax. You'll get the right information, the right combination of trailer and tow vehicle, so that both of them operate together as one. As I said before, our business is to keep your car running. 
we want you to have fun